So guys, as I was speaking, you know, so I don't understand why science is taking away people from God when it should actually be taking people to God. It just doesn't make sense. You know, guys, when something doesn't make sense, you know, earlier I spoke about this guy, you know, the artist Brooke Benton. He says, if you think God is dead, you better look around. Guys, I love the song. Guys, I can't sing, but he says something like that. He says, if you think God is dead, you better look around. And then he says, the sea, the moon, the sky, you know. And, you know, he's speaking about this thing. I don't know whether the guy was saved or not, or he was a believer or not, or he was just making money from that song, uh, taking from what Paul was saying. But one thing is for sure. The guy says, if you think God is dead, you better look around. There's something wrong with you. Something utterly wrong with you. If you think that God is dead, you better look around. Oh, God doesn't exist. You are a fool. Guys, when a person tells me that God doesn't exist, that person is a fool. A fool. Can your mother create the sea? Tell me your mother can't. Can your father create the sun? Your father will meet while trying to go there in the space, going there to the sun. He will meet. He will never come back. He will be dead forever. You will never see him again. I'm just trying to tell you. Guys, I'm telling you who you are. I'm telling you your place. Surrender now. It's time you surrender. It's time you come back to where you belong. I'm telling you. Guys, there are things that we should accept. You know, I was speaking once in one of the podcasts and I was saying that I believe in science. I believe in science, guys, as I've been telling you. You know, the, the last time I did science, I was still in, in high school. I don't remember anything. It's just that I do it with my niece. And, you know, when we uh, do homework and we research, you know, we Google and we see these things. And I'm like, damn, it's interesting, you know, seeing all those things. And it tells me, there's a Pluto, auntie, there's a Pluto. You know, it's the smallest planet. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and he explains to me and he said, you know, you can't go to the planet. And I'm like, why you can't go to the planet? Well, because it's gas. Oh, all right. I didn't know that, you know, and I see it and I'm like, what does this gas do? Why did daddy create that planet? He was giving us gas. What for? You know, because we know that with the sun, he created it so that we can get the light and also energy. All right, fine. And, and, and other things, guys, I don't know about. I mean, guys, I don't know science, you know. But what do we get from the gas? I don't know, guys. I, I'll have to Google. <laughs> I'll have to Google that, you know. But science, guys, takes me to daddy. Why is it taking scientists away from daddy? They even have a church called a uh, church of scientists, Scientology, something nonsense like that. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure they've added and, and omitted and edited their own things because they want to believe what the, their physical eyes can see. Stupid. Guys, that is stupid in the making. Stupid in the making. Guys, surrender. Come back to your place. You must see God for who he is. And give that guy honor that he deserves. I mean, the guy created the world and you don't give him honor. You say that it doesn't exist. You are a fool. Oh, you are a fool. Believe me when I tell you, you are a fool. If science, guys, is taking away from people, then I'm telling you, you should forbid your child from learning science because it's taking your child from going to heaven after leaving this place. Is that worth it? Is that worth it? Guys, if science is taking people away from God, then believe me when I tell you, it's not worth it. It, it's, it's not worth it at all. But why does science take me to that man? Because I look at science and I'm like, damn, there you good. Who would have thought of that? Who would have thought of that? You know, there are things that we get from the moon. I don't even know what we're getting, guys. Sorry, guys, for that. But I don't even know what we are getting from the moon. But I'm sure we are getting something. Besides the fact that it gives us lesser light. Because he didn't tell us much, you know. He was speaking about the fact that there is a sun greater light that's the moon lesser light and it helps us you understand because it's night it really really does help you know so there are things i don't understand i don't understand why is this thing wh wh what purpose is it serving but i'm pretty sure it's good you know if you read i, I can't remember whether it's job 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 40 or job 39 yeah i think it's job 39 where daddy is speaking to job he says Brace yourself like a man. And he says, where were you when I created the earth foundation? In fact, guys, I want to read that scripture. Let me find it and I'll continue.
okay guys i found it it's actually found in in job 38 uh it's read then the lord spoke to job out of the storm he said who is this that obscures my plans without words without knowledge who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge brace yourself like a man i will question you and you shall answer where were you when i laid the earth foundation tell me if you understand who marked off its dimensions surely you know who stretched a measuring line across it on what were its footing set or who laid its cornerstone while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness, when I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place, when I said, this far you may come and no further. Ah, guys, let me stop there. Did you hear that? Dad here, guys, is asking Job, he says, where were you? Who are you? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth foundation? I mean, guys, you go and you research things and you come back with results that God doesn't exist. Who the hell are you? Nonsense. Rubbish. Who are you? He says, where were you when I laid the earth foundation? Guys, I love Job 38 because I love it when daddy speaks like that. I'll read it again. He says, who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimension? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? Or on what where its footing set or who laid its cornerstone ah guys verse 8 says who shut up the sea behind doors when it passed forth from the womb verse 11 uh 10 says and when i fixed its limits for it and set its doors and bars in place and when i said this far you may come and no further mm, guys you know he's speaking about a sea he's speaking about a sea here is where your proud waves heart Ah, uh, and he says, have you ever given orders to the morning or shown the dawn its place? Guys, you see that sun going down and you see the sun coming out. And he says, who are you? Who gave it those instructions? And you coming back to me with science and you telling me that God doesn't exist. Who the hell are you? Nonsense. Who the hell are you? Shouldn't the world shouldn't the creation shouldn't the earth foundation be telling you that that man exists and it's telling you that he doesn't exist who the who the hell are you so he's asking job he says i will question you and you shall answer me you know guys if you read this whole chapter 38 39 i think then 40 he speaks about a lot of things you know he, he also speaks about the animals you understand the crocodile skin you know the way he made the crocodile skin you know he's speaking in details you know about the measurements and stuff you know how he made them like this and no one can fight a crocodile ah guys he's speaking about the this huge animal levadian it is called Levatian, I think so. But this huge animal is found in the sea. I don't know what it is. You know, he's speaking about this and he's asking who can fight it. Ah, he's telling you about the things that he's done because people will go and, 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 and discover things and come back and say God doesn't exist. And I'm like, what nonsense are you talking about? What rubbish are you talking about? You are actually talking nonsense. You're talking rubbish. So people don't want to honor him. They don't want to give him the honor that he deserves. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Rubbish. Nonsense. Science should actually be taking you from him. I mean, to him. Because it's revealing his powers, his qualities, his divine nature. And it's taking you away from him. Guys, if science is taking your kids away from God, make sure that your kids don't learn science. Because they are going to hell after this. Guys, my beliefs, my beliefs, guys, they affect me, not him. He will not change his word because of my beliefs. My beliefs will take me straight to hell because he will not change and say, oh, because Nini doesn't believe there is hell, I'm going to get rid of hell. Hell to the never, he ain't doing it. You know, I heard once that the scientists were trying to dig a hole to find the hell. I don't know if they've actually done it. I don't know. And if they've done it, them, those people should have changed by now and, and actually got sin saved and obeyed Jesus. 
because obviously they know hell. But that guy hides stuff. That man, he hides stuff. You know, that man, guys, he will reveal Jesus to your child, a, a, a three-year-old, a five-year-old, a ten-year-old, not to you. He does it on purpose. Why? He doesn't care what you think. You know, people will say, I don't believe in God. I believe in, in UFO. You are a fool. You are a fool. Fool you are. Rubbish. You are a fool. You really are a fool. Because that rubbish is taking people away from it. Instead, in fact, guys, your kids, your kids are listening to you saying that you, you don't believe in God, you believe in, in UFO. And you, guys, to your kids, at first, you, you, you are like a God. They take whatever nonsense you, you, you feed them. So you should be careful what nonsense you are feeding your kids. You should be careful. Science should actually be taking people to God, not away from God. And Paul is saying that the sea, the moon, the sky, you understand? These attributes, divine powers, they are clearly seen, guys. People have no excuse. Yes, he might have hidden himself. He might have hidden hell. He might have hidden heaven. But he reveals those things to certain people. And why he does that? It's because he doesn't care what you think. He doesn't care what you think. He's written his word. What you think doesn't matter to that guy. Guys, let me stop here and continue next thank you